Hey DIYers, is Dylan here with Alarm Grid. Uh, today we're going to go over which keypads work with the IQ Panel 4. Uh, so we have about three keypads that we're going to pair to the panel today. I'm going to show a quick installation. Uh, I'm going to show the pairing process for each and then we're going to test each keypad with the system to make sure that the arming and disarming feature works properly. Okay, uh, so we have a few things on our table here. Uh, to start off, we have our IQ4 panel. We have the IQ Remote Power G. We have the uh, DSC HS2 LCD WF9N. This is our wireless keypad. And then we have the wired option right here. This is the DSC HS2 LCD PN. Uh, and then we also have for this keypad, you're going to need a wired to wireless converter to connect it with the IQ4. So we have that over here, and this is the DSC PG9 WLS HW8. So we are going to start off with our wired keypad. Uh, now I already have this wired up, but I'm gonna show you the wiring real quick. <clears throat> so on the back, we already have the back plate removed. Okay, so we have our wiring terminals on the back here, and they made it pretty simple for us with the R, B, Y, and G that stands for red, black, yellow, and green. So you just need to match your wire colors to this. We don't have yellow, so we're just using white. So we have red, black, white, and green attached. Let me just put the back plate back on to this. Okay. And then right over here on our wired to wireless converter, we attach that to the core bus terminals. Uh, and again, they made it pretty simple for us, red, black, yellow, green. So you're just gonna match the wiring to this. And then the keypad is gonna get its power directly from this converter as well. So the converter itself has its power supply connected and that's all the power we need for this. So we're gonna come over to the IQ4 and we're gonna get that paired. So we're going to go to the top menu here. We're going to go into settings. We're going to go to advanced settings. Uh, we're going to enter in our installer code. Ours is still the default, so 1111. We're going to go to installation, devices, security sensors, and we're going to manually add this. So we're going to do add sensor. Our source is already set to power G, which is good. We're going to do the DLID. And that's gonna be located right over here on our converter. So 4603724, 4603724. And right away it picks up that it's a keypad and it knows it's wired to the core bus option. Uh, so for the sensor name, you can keep it as keypad or you can put a custom description where you type in your own or there's some pre-made ones right here. So say that this is gonna be our downstairs keypad. Uh, so next thing you'll wanna do is add the sensor ESN. And where that is going to be located is on the box here. So you see the SN, that's our serial number. So we're gonna enter that in. Five, two, one, two, uh, zero, five, C, and two. Okay, so that picked up. Uh, everything else is looking good. Our source, power G, sensor type is keypad. Sensor group is fixed intrusion. That means this is gonna be a stationary keypad and we're gonna use it for our arming and disarming. You have the option to enable a tamper. I'm gonna keep ours disabled. And then the backlight option is gonna keep the backlight on the keypad. So it's nice and easy to read. So we're gonna do add new. And right there, it went from keypad not paired to system is ready to arm. So we have this as a functioning keypad now. All right, so now we're gonna pair the wireless keypad. Uh, and again, this is the DSC H2, uh, HS2 LCD WF9N. So this has the option to be powered through a wired power connection. We have a barrel connector right there. 
Uh, but the cool thing about this is that it can also be wired by only battery power. So I left one of the batteries out here just so you can see that the keypad does have indicators on how the batteries are installed. So we're just gonna put our final battery in place, power up the keypad, it's gonna show us the DLID. This is if we wanna do the manual enrollment as we did for the, uh, the wired keypad. Uh, but this also can be enrolled through the auto enroll feature, uh, which is what we're gonna do since we did the manual for the other one. So back at the IQ4, top menu, settings, advanced settings. We're gonna enter in the installer code 1111. We're gonna go to installation, devices, security sensors. And then again, we're gonna do the auto enrollment. So we're gonna press auto learn. And now for this keypad, we're gonna press a key on it just to wake it up. And as you see, it says hold one and star to auto enroll. So that's exactly what we're gonna do. We have the confirmation here, the sensor ID, which we can check on the back, 3780399. And that's what we have showing on the screen as well. We know it's the correct keypad. Press OK. And it's going to give us a similar screen that we got when we enrolled the, uh, the wired keypad. So again, the sensor name, this is so we know where this is going to be. Uh, we had the wired keypad as our downstairs keypad, so I'm going to set this as our upstairs keypad. And again, it gives the same options as the last screen that we had. Uh, I'm going to keep this as a fixed intrusion. Uh, I'm going to keep the tamper disabled, backlight on, and we're going to add new. Okay, sensor added successfully, and let's just check on the keypad again. Now you notice that the, the screen keeps turning off. That's gonna happen while this is on battery power only. That's to conserve the battery life. Uh, if you have it plugged in, that screen is gonna keep on a little bit longer. So the system is ready to arm, similar to how our wired keypad was. So that is two keypads we have programmed. Back out to the home screen there. And then finally, this is the IQ Remote Power G. Uh, so this is wired uh, for power. So it comes with a barrel connection. And this has a backup battery as well. Uh, now this has a few ways that you can actually pair it. You can do a Wi-Fi pairing. Uh, where you're gonna select your Wi-Fi name here. So ours is alarm grid. You'd enter in the password. We'll come back to that in just a moment. Uh, but you also have the Power G pairing, uh, which is a bit better because that Power G has a uh, further signal range. So if you have the option, connecting through Power G is preferred. Okay, so first we're gonna do the Wi-Fi pairing just to show how that goes. So again, you wanna find your network. We're gonna enter in the password here. All right, so we have our password. We're gonna connect. I'll wait for the keypad, perfect. It shows connected. Now this must be on the same Wi-Fi network that you have the IQ4 connected to. So we're gonna start the pairing process. Back into settings, advanced settings. Again, installer code 1111. Uh, installation, devices, and since we're doing the Wi-Fi pairing, we're gonna do Wi-Fi devices. And then you see right here, IQ remote. And then we're gonna do pair. So this is gonna put this into a pairing process and while that's going, we're gonna come back to the remote, press Wi-Fi pair. All right, and now once that is connected, this is gonna automatically search online for any firmware updates, uh, and then it downloads them automatically. So while this is uh, downloading, you just wanna keep that as is, let it go through all the updates. 
as you see, we have quite a few. So we're going to let these download and we'll be right back. Okay, and we're back. So we had uh, the updates go through, the IQ remote uh, rebooted, came back up to the main screen here, which is shown good. And then back at the IQ4, we see the status as active for the IQ remote. So we know that the Wi-Fi pairing worked. Now, since this does have another option to pair through PowerG, I'm gonna show you that as well. So I'm going to delete the keypad from the main panel. As you see, it brings us directly back to that first pairing screen, and then it deletes it from the panel itself. Uh, so, back out to the home screen. Uh, so this can pair pretty similarly to uh, the to the main keep to the main panel, uh, as the other two keypads did. It has the manual option and then has the auto and roll option. So, just going to quickly show you the manual option. So back into the top menu, settings, advanced settings, one 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 one, installation, devices. Uh, security sensors, add sensor. Okay, so we have uh, the option for the DLID. Now to locate that for the IQ remote, you're gonna press remote details. And then we have the sensor ID showing right there. Uh, so since, again, we've already done the manual enrollment for one of the keypads, the process is exactly the same. Uh, so what I'm going to do for this is I'm going to do an auto enrollment as well as I did for that wireless keypad. So we're going to back out of there. Start from the main screen again. Top menu. Settings. Advanced settings. 1111 installer code. Installation. Devices. Security sensors. Uh, and again, since we're doing the auto pair, <coughs> Auto Learn sensor. And then on the IQ remote, we have the Power G pair button right there. Right away, and that's the sensor DLID that we saw before. So it's good to actually write that down just so you can confirm it, but we do know that this is correct, so I'm gonna press OK. We have our options again here, same as the other uh, screens that we've been seeing. I'm gonna set this as our master bedroom keypad. Whoops, master bedroom. Uh, we don't have the option for backlight because it's a, a touchscreen panel. And we're gonna do add new. Okay, sensor addict successfully. We're just gonna wait for the keypad to show that as well. Okay, initializing. And since we've already paired it through the Wi-Fi and it downloaded all the firmware updates, uh, we shouldn't have that screen pop up again. So we're just gonna wait here. Master bedroom keypad normal. Perfect. That's a good indication. So it should change to the main screen any moment now. There we go. All right. System is now disarmed. <clears throat> okay, so now we have all three keypads paired to the IQ4. Uh, so now we're just gonna test each and make sure they're all working. So let's start with the IQ remote since that's what's in my hand. Uh, we're gonna do- Select arm system type. Arm stay. Stay mode selected. IQ hardwire bypass. Arm stay. We see it showing here as well indicating for both. And then you can see on our wired keypad that showed armed. And then just real quick on the wireless, that shows armed as well, perfect. So that's a good indication that all are paired properly. I'm gonna disarm from the panel. Enter in our code. And on all three keypads and the IQ4, it shows disarmed now. Perfect. All right, we're gonna move over to our wireless keypads. I'm just gonna press 
key on here to wake this up. All right, so we have the keypad awake. We're gonna enter in our code, one, two, three, four. We have the arming on all three keypads and the IQ4. Disarm, enter the same code, one, two, three, four. System is now disarmed. Disarm on all three keypads and the main panel. Perfect. We're gonna move over to our wired keypad now and it's the same process as the wireless. We're gonna enter in our code. One, two, three, four. We got arming on all keypads and the main panel. One, two, three, four to disarm. System is now disarmed. And disarm showing on all keypads. Okay. And we're going to arm from the main panel itself, so arm stay. IQ hardwire bypass. Arm stay. Okay, armed on all three. And let's disarm. One, two, three, four. System is now disarmed. Perfect. All right. <clears throat> okay, so that is all the keypads programmed, tested, all are functioning, all show the same arming status. And looks like we're good to go. Okay, so we have our keypads paired to the IQ4. Uh, we went through the pairing process of each of the three keypads. Uh, we tested the arming and disarming and all worked properly as expected. If you have any questions for us, feel free to reach out. We have a support email. The email address is support at alarmgrid.com. Uh, we have a support phone number. The phone number is 888-818-7728. And if you go to our website, which is www.alarmgrid.com, we have a live chat option on there as well, so feel free to reach out through any one of those options. Uh, if you did like the video, please like the video, hit the subscribe option, and then press the bell icon to be notified about any future videos we release. And again, my name is Dylan from Alarm Grid, and thank you for watching.